the seatbelt alarms have both been switched off on request of the royal duo to make it easier to drive, it has been claimed. The Duke of Edinburgh was recently involved in a terrible crash while driving on the Sandringham estate, but escaped without any injuries. Following the incident, the Queen, 92, and Prince Philip, 97, were recently spotted driving without their seatbelts which has sparked outrage. Royal outrage at Prince Philip's appalling special treatment Prince Philip needs a stiff talking to after crash says Labour MPA source told The Sun, it's so that the driver doesn't have the continuous warning beeps if they don't wear a seatbelt. Road safety charities have attacked the move as very disappointing and disrespectful. Prince Philip was back driving a new Land Rover within a few days after the crash which resulted in one of the victims, Emma Fairweather, breaking her wrist. Road campaigners have also argued that the Duke is disrespecting the public and had to wear, even if the alarm is turned off. Read more, royal snub, Prince Philip's sisters banned from royal wedding British Safety Council chairman, Lawrence Waterman attacked the Duke, it's not as if it's onerous or difficult, and the law requires it. Obviously these safety devices are a helpful reminder, and I'm very disappointed as I do feel the royals should be setting a better example. Whether or not the device was working, Prince Philip should be wearing a seatbelt. He's old enough to know what he should be doing, and frankly I feel he's showing a disrespectful attitude to the rest of us. Read more, Queen Shock, Prince Philip refuses to give up driving for this reason Queen spotted in back of car without her seatbelt after Philip's crash royal feud, how Prince Philip made Prince Charles cry people in a position of public influence who flout the law send the wrong message. Moreover, the Duke has reportedly not even apologized to Miss Fairweather, although the Queen's lady-in-waiting has reached out. Director at Road Safety Charity Break concluded, not wearing a seatbelt flies in the face of decades of evidence and puts your life at risk. Seatbelt reminders are vital to get people to remember to buckle up and keep themselves safe, and within the law we would never recommend disabling these devices unless related to a valid exemption. A spokesman for Jaguar Land Rover refused to comment on the Sun's piece. Buckingham Palace said last week contact had been made privately with the people in the other car and well wishes exchanged.